Miss Malarkey Doesn't Live in Room 10. Written by Judy Finchler. Illustrated by Kevin O'Malley. Miss Malarkey Doesn't Live in Room 10. I know that Miss Malarkey, my teacher, lives right here at school in room 10. That's where she marks our papers and puts up all the next day's work. She eats dinner in the cafeteria and her table is always the best. After dinner, she plays in the gym with the other teachers and she never forgets her gym clothes. I wonder what the teacher's room looks like. That must be where they all sleep. No wonder kids aren't allowed in there. I'm sure teachers don't want us to see their messy room. Room 10 is a great place to live. It's near the best water fountain in the whole school. The only one that squirts up lots of water. And the boys' room is right across the hall. Oops, I mean the girls' room isn't too far away either. But last week, Miss Malarkey came to our apartment house with a mountain of boxes. Mom says she's going to live here now. A few days ago, when Mom and I baked cookies, she asked me to bring some upstairs to Miss Malarkey. I told her I needed a pass. Before I knocked, I spit out my gum. When she opened the door, she gave me a great big hug. Then I saw her feet. Miss Malarkey had no shoes on or socks or even slippers. I could see Miss Malarkey's toenails and they were red, bright red. Here are some cookies Mom made for you, Miss Feet. Uh, me, I mean, Miss Malarkey. I felt my cheeks getting just as red as Miss Malarkey's toes. That very same day, I spotted her throwing out the garbage. She never does that at school. On Saturday, I saw some people going into Miss Malarkey's apartment. She was having a party, and it wasn't even someone in the class's birthday. I told everyone in my class that our teacher doesn't live in room 10. Some of them still didn't believe me. So I showed them. I like having Miss Malarkey live in the same apartment house as me, but I won't see her so much when I go to second grade. Next year, I'll have Miss Boba. Miss Boba doesn't live in my building. I guess she lives in room 12. The end.